Man, oh man. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your boy, Kenny. And man, oh man, it feels so good to be able to enjoy this outside again, man. I promise. Woo! Man, so just a, um, so just a quick update. Uh, so, you know, I had the Whipple surgery done, um, so I end up being in the hospital for uh for like 25 days. Um, so it, initially it was, you know, I was supposed to be there for five days. I ended up being there for 25 days. End up going, um, end up going under two surgeries. Um, the uh, you know, the first day I had the surgery, I was there for a couple of days. I was having like um a lot of complications like breathing and eating and throwing up and stuff real bad. So um, they called for another emergency uh, surgery. And um, so like, I think like five, like three or four days after the first surgery, you know, they end up putting me back under and uh, going in and um, I think they said they were gonna remove some um, remove like some, uh, man, I can't even think right now. It's gonna move some, like, some dead scar tissue and stuff. Um, it had something to do with my, uh, my bowel duct and my intestines. Um, it wasn't like, I think it wasn't like connected all the way or something. Cause I ended up doing like, while I was in there, I ended up doing like two or three CAT scans. And they were like, hey, you know, something not right, we're gonna have to go back in. We got to do it ASAP. Man. But man, my experience in there was, oh my God, the worst 25 days of my life. And I promise, I thought I was never getting out of there. And one of the, one of, and one of the things that actually, that actually bothered me the most is it had like this ng tube um i forgot what it's short for but it's called an ng tube where they insert it into your nose and down to your stomach and it like it like sucks up all your stomach content and um i had to have that for like maybe a week and when i tell you it was like the most uncomfortable feeling ever I mean, like I cried like a dog. It took them like, it took them like a almost an hour to get it in, because they um they were all like, all the nurses and stuff was like taking turns trying to get it in. A couple times I jerked it out, and um, man, um, I definitely want to give a shout out to all my visitors, and uh, I mean it's funny because I even had like. I even had like random people hitting me up, uh, coming to visit. I met long lost friends I haven't seen in a long time. Of course, I had family uh, that came through, and uh, definitely, definitely big shout out to my to my sisters, my two older sisters. They definitely held it down. Um, my dad, and uh, just shout out to everybody that came through, man. Uh, so really, um, so this is like, this is actually like my second day at home. So, um, only, you know, only obstacles I'm trying to get over now is eating. Uh, I don't have any appetite. They told me I wouldn't have an appetite for like maybe a month or two months. So, um, the most thing I've been trying to do is eat. I mean, it's kind of hard to eat, you know, when you're not hungry and you don't have an appetite for anything. So I've been trying my best. I mean, I know I lost a lot of weight. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just for real. I'm just blessed to, you know, be able to make it through and be out here. I'm still having trouble walking. Um, I'm not allowed to drive my car for like a month or so. Uh, I still have a lot of, uh, so I still have a lot of staples in my stomach as well. Um, so they did take half of the staples out before I left the hospital. 
And um, I don't know. I'm trying to. I don't know if there's anything else I need to include. Um. Oh yeah, definitely. Big shout out to the CNAs and the RNs, man. Oh my God. I mean, I. I mean, I kind of gave them a hard time, but at the same time, like I I knew with CNAs and. Like, I knew what they did, you know, as far as work, like what they done, but man, they gotta be, man, you gotta be brave, you gotta be strong for that kind of work, man. I mean, um, you know, just, you know, they were helping me get to the bathroom, they were bathing me, you know, wiping me, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, one thing about it, y'all, this channel, I don't hold nothing back, no cut cards. Um, I mean, yeah, it was a couple times, like three or four times I used the bathroom on myself. They had to, you know, wipe me up and take me to the bathroom. I couldn't walk. And... Man. Man, oh, man. And then um, another thing I like to mention, so when I went in there, you know, before the surgery, they weighed me. I was like 187 pounds. So, you know, they were, you know, they were feeding me through like the tubes and IVs and stuff. And then like a week later, I was like 213 pounds, but it was all like water weight. I was like really swelling, swollen in my legs, my arms, stuff like that. So then they started giving me something to where I urinate and, and like, and I get rid of most of the weight. So then I end up, you know, a few days later, I ended up slimming back down to the weight that I came in there with. But right now, I'm, I'm even smaller than when I came in there, only because, like, you know, I can't eat no food. And, um, well, no, I can't eat food. I just don't have an appetite for food. I can eat anything I want. I just don't have an appetite. You know, I got, like, this metallic taste in my mouth and things like that, but... For the most part, I'm kind of just enjoying this outside weather. I mean, um, they told me to stay active. So, I mean, so since I've been out the hospital, you know, I've been active. I done went, you know, I done came out, went to friends' house, played cards. Um, I've been sitting out in the yard a lot, too. Um, I actually enjoy sitting out in the yard. I enjoy, you know, um, I just enjoy nature overall. So uh, if that's one thing you gonna learn about me is I, I like to be outside so uh i'm actually outside right now sitting under like sitting under this big tree in the yard and uh this is kind of like what my living arrangement's looking like right now um Yeah, so um, that's basically what I got going on, man. Uh, I, I don't got too much footage of me in the hospital. Um, I do got like, you know, I did take like some pictures and stuff, but man, when I was in there, man, I was, I never suffered that bad. Like that might be the, that might be the worst thing I ever went through. I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. Um, I don't know. You know, hopefully as the days go by, you know, and I stop progressing, <clears throat> I'll get, you know, some, uh, I'll get an appetite and I'll start eating more. Hopefully um, I don't lose too much weight. And, um, you know, they told me take it easy for six to eight weeks and i'm uh i'm i'm just i'm anxious to go back to work so um i'm gonna do whatever i need to do to to get well yep so um i don't know man i'll try to i'll try to pop out with some more videos and stuff um, right now, that's all I got right now for update as far as, you know, after the surgery. Like I said, I spent 25 days in the hospital. Um, so right now, I'm currently like two days out of the hospital. So, um, 
I'll just definitely keep y'all updated, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't, you know, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? And uh, thank y'all for tu tuning in, man. It's cooling with Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day.